boom, I'm in the room. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you're watching from. Now I'm uh, coming live. No, I'm not. I'm actually coming from the old Hill Manor, but I'm not live. And I'm your host, Lord Hill. Now, um, I'm just going to do a bit of a recap on what I've been up to in the last week or so. Now, last week, what have I been up to? Well, um, on Tuesday last week, I was picked up uh, by a mate and we went uh, down all the way down to Exmouth and uh, we got dropped off and we picked up his new boat. So there was three of us on the boat and what we did, um, we didn't have a lot of time. We didn't have a great weather window. Um, so the idea was um, we got on the boat about two o'clock. By the time we uh, handed over the boat and, and worked out where everything was, uh, we finally slipped about half past three on the Tuesday afternoon with a uh, about a, a 24 hour 36 hour weather window to get it from Exmouth back to Gosport so that's what we did we slipped uh, the mooring on the River X motored out the harbour pop, popped up the mainsail um, now this boat it's a westerly um, condor duo so effectively it's a motor sailor so that's what we kind of did <laughs> we motor sailed it now we had to uh, maintain uh, a speed of around about five knots to get from Exmouth to get round the Portland Bill now we would have we only had about six hours, seven hours to get to Portland Bill with a tide, fair tide with us. Now, that time of night, because uh, it was dark, by the time we went round through the bill, um, we stayed about four miles offshore. And it got a bit, a bit lumpy out there. Now, the funny part about it was, every time I went to bed, get my head down, <laughs> but I... Something happened, I had to get back up again. Anyway, so, we got past the bill, and then we got past, um, or as we, just as we're coming into the, uh, what's the name channel, the, the, the Hearst channel, the, at the Needles. Um, so, it was a bit breezy, uh, the nose was, the, the wind was coming straight on our nose, straight for, down the Hearst Channel, as it does. And as as we got level with the needles themselves, we had the foresail in because it, 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 it's pointless out flogging itself to death going into wind. What happens? Top, 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 top. Silence. <laughs> Run out of diesel. We had a full tank when we left. So um, it does about 80 miles to the tank. So it's used in about five or six litres an hour because it's only got about a 50 litre tank on it. A little bit of panic ensued. Popped the foresail out and we were struggling. We actually struggled. It took us about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, to get sail through the Hearst Channel with a fair tide uh, and in the meantime we had to call out um, sea start that come out with uh, as we got opposite um, uh, or as we passed Hearst Castle the guy from uh, sea start arrived hooked us up brought us across into and picked up a mooring outside Yarmouth filled up with diesel and um, We'd effectively lost our weather window, as it were. Uh, and we only had a, a couple of hours tied to push us back towards Gosport time we, we've got going. So 
we pushed on anyway. Cut a long story short, we got going and we arrived back in Gosport um, about four o'clock in the afternoon. So 25 hours um, from slipping to picking up. Job done. So that was uh, that was Wednesday afternoon I got back. Um, absolutely knackered. Then not a lot. Normal Thursday I was on the uh, the video call with the Voss types and then we went to Voss uh, at the Crofton in the afternoon, meet up with some of the other chaps that we normally do on a Thursday afternoon. Friday morning I had to take Artie the ship's cat to the vet for his annual checkup and his um, his jabs. So the vet's quite pleased with him. He's weighing in at 6.6 .6 kilos, which is quite a, a chunky old weight for the boy. And um, the vet, happy, doing well. And um, yeah, pleased that Artie the ship's cat's doing well. Then we went off to the, uh, the meat raffle on HMS Victory and didn't win any meat. However, I got two nines on, on, on the football cards. So two football cards that day and scrum off, turns up, bump, bump, two fivers. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do nicely. <laughs> um, Saturday, now Saturday, what do I do? Bump, there we go, look, that's me. That's me and Rummy on our way into the National Memorial Arboretum on Ride to the Wall. So uh, I'm in the centre of the picture and that's Mark with his massive great flag <laughs> and I've only got a pennant. So had a really good day at uh, Ride to the Wall. Met up with a load of other Royal Anglian riders and there we all are, Bosch. Uh, good turnout, all things considered, a good turnout. There was about 20 odd of us. And I bumped into a guy I haven't seen for must be 40 odd years, uh, an old pal, uh, Jim. So it was nice to see him. Uh, and a couple of other guys I haven't seen for a while. Nice to catch up. And we were there with, with about, I don't know, 7,000 other motorcyclists, all veterans. Great day out. And then, then what do I do? Then, I'm in, the, I'm in the planning stage for my next big adventure. Now, so far I've got the ferries booked. So I've got four ferries in total booked. And we're going there. That's my route. So I leave Portsmouth and I take a ship or a ferry to Santander in uh, northern Spain. Now if you have a look at the old map there, haha, I'm going to go drop down and I'm going to drop down through Portugal. Got a few days dropping down through Portugal, down to Algeciras, where I'm going to catch a ferry across to Morocco. So I've got the two ferries uh, planned for Morocco to get us from Algeciras across to uh, to Morocco and back again. And my homeward ferry is from St. Marlow back to Portsmouth. Now the reason for that is that the ferry price has gone up a lot on a return trip. So... I'm just doing the outward, the outward trip. So that, uh, that's coming together nicely. So I've got all, all my accommodation booked so far up to Marrakesh. For Marrakesh, I'm going to drop down to, um, to Agadir. So I'm going to, and I've got a couple of days, I'm going to do a couple of days in Fez, um, a couple of days in Mar uh, Marrakesh, and a couple of days in Agadir. 
Um, from Agadir, I'm going to come up the coast then uh, to Casablanca. I think I might go to Rick's Bar. Um, not sure they'll let me in without a tie, so I might have to take a tie with me. <laughs> I'm a bit fussy about that, apparently, in Rick's Bar. And then coming back. So I'm going to be in, going to be in Morocco for about 13, 14 days, I think it works out. So I'm going to be away for four weeks, basically. So, and that's the whole of March. I'm going to be away the whole of March. Riding through, uh, another riding through history, the road to Morocco. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm going to be visiting some, some historical sites. The ones I'm going to be looking at, uh, I've got in mind to do in in Portugal, is I'm going to go into Porto and have a look at some of the areas where Wellington's army was holed up in, in Porto. Then I'm going to come down a bit to... Uh, the lines of Torre Vedras to see where he, he, he had this all these um, dugouts, these um, yeah trenches, for want of another word, in Morocco, uh, in uh, in Portugal, uh, just north of Lisbon. So I'm going to do that. Uh, there's a couple of other places I'm going to try and visit as well. I think I go. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going through Badajoz. I want to do Badajoz and look at the, the fortress there. So that's some of the stuff that I'm going to be doing. Um, into Morocco, obviously. I've um, got a few places I'm visiting there. Obviously in Fez, going to go and have a look at the uh, the, the, the tanning. Um, what's names they have there? Pots or whatever they call them. And then uh, there's a couple of places down in, in in Morocco where they filmed a lot of films. There's a lot of films. So there's some film studios down there. I'm hoping to do a couple of the old uh, film tours. So I think they do that down there. So I've got to go across the Atlas Mountains. I'm hoping the snow's gone by the time I get down there. <laughs> Else it could be quite chilly up in the mountains. And then what else are we doing down there? Um, yeah, going to do, do uh, a couple of days in, in Marrakesh. And have a look at the old Marrakesh Express. <laughs> There's a song about that in there. And then down to Agadir. And have a look around Agadir. And then, say, coming up to Casablanca. And, um, and then on the way back, when I get back, into Spain, back into Spain, um, I might pop into Gibraltar, I might not. See how we get on. Um, I haven't got far as booking the accommodation there yet, so, but I know the accommodation in Gibraltar is expensive. So, I may or may not do that. But, um, I'm gonna come along that south coast of Spain to where they did all the old spaghetti westerns. You remember the old spaghetti westerns? A fistful of dollars, a, for a few dollar mo dollars more, the good, the bad and the ugly. Um, they were all filmed in that, that area. Uh, and there's, there's, there's another sort of film studio area I want to go and visit down there. And then we're going to be uh, punching up, doing some, some fairly big distance days, so we're going to get back. But there's a couple of places I want to try and visit on the way back up. I'd like to go and have a look at um, Chateau Lafitte, which is owned by the Rothschilds, where they have Pauliac, which is my favourite wine. But, as I understand, the, um, the Lafitte is... Um, Chateau is being redeveloped or something like that and it's closed until 2025 20, I think or 26 so I might have to miss that out um, and then I'm going to come up um, as quick as I can and I want to pop into St Nizier and have a look at the submarine pens 
So I'll do a little bit on that. And then up to St. Marlo and home. So I'm going to be away pretty much the whole of March. So I should be able to get quite a lot of videos out of this little lot. So if you've got any recommendations where I could visit, uh, if you have a look at have a look at my map plan um, on the routes. So it, it's coming south out of the, the northern port of, um, oh, I can't even pronounce it, um, what do they call it? It's Setter, I think. Uh, coming come down down to Fez and then coming across the, the High Atlas, dropping down to um, a couple of other places down there. And then up to, to Marrakesh. Uh, if there's any places that you want to want me to go and have a look at. A lot of it's going to be the old riding roads. Because they've got some stunning riding roads down there. I'm going to do my best to stay off the, the rough stuff. And just stick to the tarmac. <laughs> but I can't guarantee that. So that's what we've got. I mean there's, there's, I'm looking forward to it. Um so the planning, I'm in the planning stages at the moment. I'm still booking stuff up. I'm not going to be camping this time. I've decided that I'm going to just do bed and breakfast, dormitories. Uh, that's how you get to meet lots of people. Um, all the accommodation's cheap. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going for cheap. <laughs> going to be a cheapskate. Um, so there you go. So yeah, the average price is about sixteen, twenty pounds, something like that, uh, for a bed in a, a in a dormitory and and a, a, the odd rooms. I've got single rooms with, with with private toilets and stuff. So that's that's the trip. This week now, um, Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, I'm off to Brands Hat. I'm off to spend the weekend with True Heroes Racing. Already spoken to, to Phil and we've got a little bit of a plan of meeting up with uh, Lizette on when on Thursday morning, first thing. And they're going to start to build about 8 o'clock, so I'm, I need to get there early. I'm going to get my, my camera set up to do the, uh, to capture the, the build how they how they build up their the garage and their hospitality area. Uh, I'm gonna gonna do time lapse, so you, it'll be done in quick time. <laughs> then I'm gonna do some interviewing. I'm gonna interview some people on the other teams to get their take on True Heroes Racing, how they they're perceived in the in the pits, and um, yeah. So I'm looking forward to quite a good weekend, and I'm gonna stay until the end. And uh, try and capture the the D rig as well. Um, how everything's packed away, ready for the next round of races. Now this is the last series of the year. This is the last race weekend of the year at Brands Hatch. Should be a really good one. Um, I've been invited out the Saturday evening. Or everybody's going out for a curry, so I'm looking forward to that. I do like a nice curry, and um, yeah. So that's the um, that's the week ahead, and that's what we've been up to. So I'm still doing some planning. So if you've got any uh, uh, suggestions on where I could try and uh, have a visit, let us know. So I've had a had a good old uh, couple of weeks in. So I'm looking forward to this week. Should be a lot of fun. And watch out for the. The video's coming for that. There's talking of videos. Uh, there's there's another two from the Scottish trip that's going to drop. One drop today, which was uh, Dun Robin Castle. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, another one's dropping on Wednesday, and the last one's dropping on Friday. I think it is. And then I've run out of things. <laughs> so I've got to get out and do some stuff. Um, I'm taking a little bit of a break at the moment. Um, I kind of got to the stage where I was kind of nearly burning out. You know, you, you get to, you, trying to build up enthusiasm to do something. Um, 
So I'm just taking a little bit of uh, a back step on the uh, everyday conversations regarding mental health and ordinary people's extraordinary stories. I just need a little bit of a, a break from that uh, and then I'll get back into it uh, in the next next few weeks or so. But I'll keep trying popping something up on here. Um, so I'm going to be doing lots of videoing while I'm at Brands Hatch and uh, hopefully that'll be um, a really good series for you guys to watch. So, that's it then. Oh, don't forget, if you haven't already had a listen to the radio station, um, the link's there. So that's the link. See the link? So if you pop that into your browser um, and give the radio station a listen, there's some music on there now. There's um, there's lots of stuff on there, actually. There's lots of the old and some of the new interviews I've done and, and bits and pieces. So, yeah, pile into that and have a listen. So until next week, then, um, thanks for indulging and, um, yeah, so until then, TTFN, ta-da for now.